Hello everyone, welcome back to GGN. This is part two for this news report or news bulletin today. Wednesday, October 10th, 2012. I'm Darko. My website is ggnonline.com and YouTube ddarko2012. All right. Um, okay, so we left off in the last video. We talked, out, talked about terrorists, not average uh, uh, people being referred to as terrorists. Like we're all the terrorists. We're all being monitored and how the school children are being um, tracked and traced um, you know, punished uh, if they refuse to be tracked with microchips. Um, parents also up in arms, right, about their child uh, being palm scanned, biometric scanned in order to get their nice GMO food at lunch. Also, cameras in the garbage cans um, to see what they're throwing away. Cameras in the bathrooms, GPS devices and candy bars, and uh, parents being hauled off if they don't uh, send their kids to these brainwashing camps uh, that will, what, condition them that this is going to be their future. And like the doctor in the last article said, what, we have to, we have to modify the kid. So instead of giving them a bunch of pills, you have to change the way they think so that they accept the programming and printing for this brave new world that they're entering. Heavily armed police raid organic farm conduct a legal search. He's a constitutionalist. So on August 16th, in a sleepy Idaho farm town, heavily armed members of the Gem County Sheriff's Office conducted an illegal search of a residence after receiving domestic violence complaint from a neighbor. But after pulling the occupants from the house at gunpoint, displaying rude and discourteous behavior, and then illegally searching the house, along with personal effects, deputies discovered what they believed to be a marijuana grow room. Says one uh, deputy suddenly had an epiphany, as he heard in the video below, 520, we'll need to get a warrant for this. And he says, a little late for that. He says, funny enough, the grow room turned out to be an aquaponics system for the couple's organic tomatoes. He says, police are en route to a domestic violence complaint, and 9-11 transcripts indicate one deputy warning another on the subject of the compl uh, complaint, or complaint is a constitutionalist. Apparently, some of that federal fusion center training did sink in. It's okay to politically profile those who follow the words under founding document better gear up for SWAT entry. So it's interesting they recently they talk about federal fusion centers, how they're, you know, uh, inadequate and they actually don't do that all that well. I thought that was a bunch of BS. And hopefully you guys saw that too, the, the fusion center uh, articles saying that, oh yeah, they don't even do what they're supposed to do. Oh, I'm sure that they're doing what they're supposed to be doing, linking uh, local, state, and federal agencies, uh, f uh, basically federal federalizing all the state and local uh, police and um, stuff like that. That's why they're all uh, SWAT teams for everything now, including truancy. Selling your own books, electronics, and even furniture will soon be illegal if the Supreme Court says so. Do you think the Supreme Court might have important cases to decide when the nine justices can reconvene this fall? No, they don't, right? Because they're all sellouts. That, but they're going to basically uh, determine whether you have the right to resell your own stuff. And it has to do with reselling everything from your grandmother's antique furniture to your iPhone, according to the Wall Street Journal. It uh, says here on the website that there's a case that's going on, something called the First Sale Doctrine. It pertains to copyright law that permits you to buy and sell things like books, artwork, furniture, electronics, CDs, and loads of stuff without having to first obtain permission from the copyright holder of those items. The doctrine has been recognized by the Supreme Court since 1908. Under it, you're allowed to resell your property without hassle or worry because the copyright holder had control only over the first sale. And hate speech hypocrites, how can we ban hate speech against Jews while defending mockery of Muslims? This is what I was covering recently. Someone left a comment in there um, about my from my videos yesterday that when I was covering uh, in Sweden, the Jews wearing the, um, the hats and stuff like that and being able to go around there and then you'll have stuff like this where they can't wear hijabs in France and there's Islamophobia and it kind of goes both ways, you know. So it says Jews have too much influence over U.S. policy. Gay men are too promiscuous. Muslims commit too much terrorism and blacks commit too much crime. Each of those claims is poorly stated. Each in its clumsy way address a real problem or concern and each violates law of hate speech and what we call the free world for writing that paragraph, I could be jailed. It says if we're going to preach freedom of expression around the world, we have to practice it and we have to scrap our hate speech laws, kind of like hate crimes too. And we have, um, and that's that could be applied to anything, especially now where they're pushing the social engineering stuff and uh, bullying and that. 
Jack Welch defends Jobs' conspiracy theory, compares backlash to Soviet Russia. So he took the Wall Street Journal's op-ed page today to double down on his assertion that the Bureau of Labor uh, Statistics' latest unemployment numbers look too good to be true. Of course, he's right, right? They're always fudging those numbers, especially recently, saying that, oh, the unemployment went up or um, unemployment went down, and they don't talk about the part-time work, right? It was all part-time work. People that are getting work is all part-time, and it's low wage. The ex-GE CEO's accusation drew a massive backlash, which he says seemed like something out of Soviet Russia or Communist China. Welch said that the number still seems fishy to him, pointing out that they indicate the largest number of workers added since 1983. He says, I doubt many of us know any business person who believes the economy is growing at breakneck speed. He said uh, Welch quit his columnist gigs with Fortune and Reuters yesterday after both outlets published stories about his comments. See, chastised, and Fortune editor uh, criticized them on Morning Joe. Jack Welch has left our building, metaphorically, that is, a senior Fortune uh, editor wrote in a post. Welch can't take the heat in his email. Yeah, so there's not really free speech or anything like that. I'm not sure if it ever really existed. Just authorized speech. April Jones, Matthew Woods jailed over explicit Facebook comments. Don't forget about the Marine that got locked up, dude, and sent in a psych ward, disappeared. The Marine uh, for criticizing the government. Also, they're trying to get, what, trying to ban vets from being able to have weapons. Um, because, oh, yeah, because of PTSD, we better lock them up and protect themselves. Oh, yeah, because it's suicide. They're saying because of the increased suicide rate. So instead of addressing why they are the way they are, why they would want to put a bullet through their head because of what they saw, what they were asked to do, no, instead of looking at the mission, let's let's just go ahead and start banning guns from veterans, right? So it says here, Lan uh, Lincolnshire teenager sentenced to three months in prison after posting a joke about missing girl on Facebook. So whatever the story was, doesn't really matter. Uh, Facebook and Twitter, just like the students, like the parents and the uh, children, take them out of the schools, don't talk on Facebook, you know. New Jersey high school teacher who made anti-gay comments on web resigns. So she allegedly posted anti-gay comments on her personal Facebook page, has resigned, and settlement talks are underway. One comment said, if her uh, comments were offered while she was off duty, then this is a matter of the First Amendment. However, if she made similar comments in the classroom, she needs to be disciplined. It's interesting because, like, what happens to uh, students, like that girl that wore that Romney shirt, um, uh, basically, and then uh, someone else talking about the Constitution and, and, and Republicans and then got um, uh, lambasted by a teacher who was an Obama supporter. And it says that she made the comments in classroom. She needs to be disciplined. So um, it's kind of interesting, too. You know, it's just, uh, like I guess it just depends on the time, right? I mean, in government textbooks, they were uh, teaching, uh, they were teaching white students back in the 1800s that Indians were savages, right? You know, cutting off their hair, couldn't speak their language, forcing a religion on them. This is all through the state, authorized by the state. Now, promoting homosexuality is being promoted by the state. So if you're not for that, well, then you can't talk, right? You only have, you can only say what you are authorized to say, and that includes teachers. Of course, if you promote it and you're just enthusiastic about it, uh, pushing the social engineering, well, then, hell, you're going to get Teacher of the Year award. Taking photos of clouds earns Texas man a visit from FBI. If you're corresponding with known terrorists and attempting to overthrow the U.S. government, it is safe to expect a knock on your door from the FBI. But what if you just happen to think that storm clouds looked really, really cool? He said he never once stepped foot on the refinery's property, but it was enough to raise suspicious nonetheless. Someone at the facility spotted him shooting photos and phoned the police. See, so that's what it came down to, who in turn rang the FBI Joint Terrorism Task Force. So it says here that um, it ended peacefully. They say this isn't to say, though, he got off without hassle, of course. When police detain you, and take away your time, that's time that's robbed that you'll never get back, like waiting for a train from these monopolized trains. I mean, are you gonna get re are you gonna get compensated for having to wait for a flipping train for ten minutes? No. No, you don't. And you help subsidize that too, the railroads. Uh, it says here that uh, Haliando says that the agent asked him questions off a three page document that involved any history that he may have had with the US military or traveling overseas. Now, uh, Galindo says he is left wondering if the FBI has since opened up a file on him. The worst thing I've done is getting a speeding ticket, but I've gotten, haven't gotten one in three years. Or that uh, individual doesn't understand uh, that uh, we're all potential terrorists, right?
So the U.S. government today has more data on the average American than the Stasi did on East Germans. This comes from a radio interview. The Wall Street Journal reporter who has been uh, covering the surveillance state in the U.S. made an observation. Goes on and says that, of course, that we've already seen much of the data seems to be collected illegally with little oversight and with absolute no security benefit. No security benefit. <laughs> the illusion of security, right? Like George Carlin says. So it makes sense. You know, he's talking about, uh, you know, having the F uh, FBI open up a file on him. Well, yeah, the, the U.S. government has more data on average American than the Stasi did on East Germans. Everyone. I mean, my, I had a friend tell me something about the amount of information, amount of space that they have, memory and space, these data forms that they collect all this information like the NSA and that. They have information uh, enough c infrastructure and capacity to collect every single conversation, uh, you know, phone message, uh, phone, text message, voicemail, uh, whatever, uh, for a hundred years on every single person. Just imagine that. So you have a uh, cancer patient embarrassed by security pat down, a Michigan woman dying of leukemia says she hopes the embarrassment during a Seattle airport security pat down might change the way the TSA treats travelers with medical conditions. Well, they're not because they do it to old women with, uh, 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 urination catheters uh, sticking out and stuff like that, removing them. Um, so she thought she'd be a good slave and prepared by calling the airhead ahead of time, asking for a wheelchair, carrying documentation for the feeding tubes and all that, but it wasn't enough. She received a full pat-down in the airport and had to lift her shirt and pull back bandages so agents could get a good look. She said everyone else in line got a good look, too. But her only issue was that she was in front of everyone and everyone was looking at her like she was a criminal, like I was doing something wrong, right? Well, that's the Matrix, right? That's why I love that movie. It's very symbolic. Everyone that's around you that has their head up their ass, and pardon my French, uh, they are in the Matrix. They are the, um, they are the Agent Smiths. They're all agents, like the guy that called the cops, the guy taking pictures. Cops tase a man for having a seizure. I think this is not the first time. Two Texas police officers are being sued for using a taser to shock a man who has been uh, having a, a seizure, causing the 50-year-old to suffer a heart attack and permanent brain damage. There's a video here, a little bit older in news, but I thought I included from September 29th. Cop punches wheelchair-bound 50-year-old repeatedly in the face, caught on video. But he was intoxicated, so I guess that, uh, that uh, legitimizes it, right? So it says here, a bookkeeper uh, basically tried to intervene and say, dude, you know, and a cop immediately responded by saying, shut up, back up, I'll arrest you too. So that's how they are. That's how they roll. And they go on and said, oh, he has a history, he has a history. I'm sure all these guys have histories like this guy, Philadelphia Philly Police Pro video that purports to show brutality. So they're investigating a video that appears to, sh appears to show a police supervisor striking a Puerto Rican Day Parade reveler in the head, sending the woman to the ground. Uh, before she was charged with disorderly conduct and betting disabled by request. So I can't see it right now, but he punched her pretty hard, sent her to the ground. Man shot by NYPD dreamed of joining NYPD. So he was a National Guardsman. Says that he was shot in Queens uh, after police pulled him over for allegedly driving erratically. But really, what was it? It says that uh, they accidentally cut the police off. So they cut him off, and that deserves getting shot. You know, that's happened before. It was caught on video. Remember that motorcycle, uh, motorcycle, like a crotch rocket driving? And he got pulled over by, um, well, not really pulled over. He was stopped in traffic, and all of a sudden, this undercover cop or off-duty cop just got out of the car and just started harassing him. St. Charles County deputy to serve prison time for rolling meth bust. So the prosecutor said officers had agreed to try to consensual search because they didn't have a search warrant, but when Hunt showed up later, he kicked in the porch drawer and beat a helpless naked man who was not resisting. At the sentencing, Hunt broke down several times while reading a prepared statement in which he detailed his military service with the U.S. Marines and his lifelong desire to be a police officer. Cops bill mom for dent and car that killed her son. Groovy mom's lawyer called calls $710 bill a disgrace. They slapped a grieving mother with a $710 bill to repair the police car that was dented when it fatally struck her son. Then we have EPA recruiting school children as spies to run energy patrols. Under the EPA's uh, celebration of Children's Health Month, which occurs in October by enlisting children to track how energy is used at their local public schools. In the EPA, the report entitled Sensible Steps to Healthier School Environment, the agency gives detailed instructions on how children can effectively inform others when energy is wasted. Remember the application for smartphones called EcoSnoop. You can look that up. So they're looking for inefficient uses of energy um, like this. When lights are found on unnecessarily, they're quickly turned off. All windows 
So join me in part three and we'll get into the coming Ice Age news. Thank you.